I've been coming down to Bikis since since I was a kid, like uh, junior high, high school, and really fell in love with the with the place and everything that they did here. Um, it was super empowering. It made me super excited about bicycles, and it made them really accessible to me. Bike is the bicycle recycling and education center for Tucson. Any bike that's still, um, you know, fairly complete um, and fairly good condition, uh, we make all efforts to turn that into a bike again, or to help to help somebody turn that into a bike again. The biggest difference is that we won't fix your bike for you, even you know, even if you want to pay us to do that. Um, that's not a service we offer, but we will show anybody uh, how to how to repair their bike from a basic flat tire change to an overhauling the bottom bracket or something more complicated. It's like another set of tools that we offer, not only like the kind of tools that you put in your hands, but like the kind of tools that help people learn how to do things on their own, learn how to be like um, self-sufficient and that kind of thing. And also then they can teach other people and it kind of like carries on. And people don't have to know anything about bikes to come in here. They don't have to have picked up a wrench or um, even ridden a bike really, they just need to have patience and interest and we can teach them how to how to do stuff. It's just step by step. But we also, you know, we, we encourage sustainability in general. So encouraging people to um, take things and make them into something else before throwing them away or even before putting them in the recycling bin. Um, there's like in the, in the 80s and 90s there was like this big push to recycle but people kind of forgot about the reuse part of that. Um, any of those parts that can't be used anymore, those then we put through our art program, and so those many times will become other art pieces or functional pieces then that we either have at our art auction or that we make throughout the year. We do make all efforts to utilize all aspects of the bike in one way or another. A lot of the employees here crank out a ton of art, um, really amazing pieces. We auction those pieces off and it helps us stay open. It helps us continue on with our project. We have a lot of attachment to this building and to this neighborhood. It's pretty magical. Um, unfortunately, there's a major road project that's going to wipe out our parking lot. When you step out the door there, it's going to be like a 30-foot drop. Uh, essentially, we need to move and buy a new building because uh, a freeway is being installed essentially right in front of our, uh, our space. The building will still be here. Um, 
but everything around the building will really change and affect us. We love the basement and we love the the funkiness of the space and the ramp and our mural and all these things that we won't be able to take with us, but we're hoping that we can find a space that's going to be uh, adequate in size and still be sort of in the in the vicinity to serve all the people that we currently serve. Expanding the programs we can, but not not too big, not too fast. We want to respect what we have here and that it's working and um, you know continue to, to be really good at what we do. seeing parents bring their kids and helping them work on their bikes. It's great, it's really awesome to see them sticking around and really falling in love with bicycles and everything that we do essentially. And yeah, we try and support them in, in any capacity that we can. Blessing.